Hey people, welcome to part 6, hopefully the final part of Mega Man 2. Now this is the biggest joke in the entire game. You see Metal Man? Well, look how much damage his own weapon does to him. See? I'm not sure if that takes, if that was one or two Metal Blades, but <sighs> that's, that's just, I think that was just a joke Capcom put in probably. You'd never guess to try the Road Master's own weapons on them. Or maybe they accidentally had him programmed as a normal enemy for the Metal Blade, which would take like one or two hits from it. Who knows? Okay. Yeah, that was really hard. Okay. It's just time. If you have any crash bomb left after that boss fight from before, then use that on him. On Wiley. In fact, I'm just to save ammo, I'm just gonna start out with the normal buster. Okay, I'm just going to use an energy tank to stay safe. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, is everybody ready? Oh my god, it's a second skull. And they did the second skull thing in Mega Man 2, 3, and 4. And I don't think 4 should have done it because they just dragged on the supplies of a second skull. I mean, in Mega Man 5, they didn't have a second skull, and I bet that surprised people. And this last area just doesn't have any music because Capcom obviously just rushed the end of this game, you can tell by the later levels. They probably, it's probably to add a bit of an atmosphere, but they just probably couldn't be bothered to think of it little tune for this final bit, but it doesn't really matter because it's so short anyway. It's love. Oh my god, I can't remember I got hit by it. But you see, do you see how much damage that did? It's just weird. What the hell? Okay. Considering how much damage this final boss does, I'm probably gonna have to do this without taking a hit. But that won't be too hard actually. It's such an easy last boss. The only weapon that damages him is the bubble lead. No other weapon hurts him. So if you don't have any bubble lead ammo, I don't see why you have used it up here. But if you don't have any, you're going to have to get game over to refuel your ammo. Because there's no ammo refit. There's no way to get any more ammo in this last bit. See, it's very easy. It's just when you like learn the like way he moves around. He is it really he is it really Wily? Is Wily an alien? Dun -dun -dun. Have a guess. Oh yeah, yeah, really hard. Wow. Okay, so that's the end of Mega Man 2. Oh, it was just a hologram. I think Wally really would have been an alien. That could have made some people freak out at first, actually. Like, Riley's really an alien, oh my god. Just have this little bit here and then. There we go. Wally has been defeated. And now you've got, like, the most random ending thing ever, right here. See, this bit here, it's just so random. It's just walking through and like, his weapons keep changing. And they just like, got this village and then the seasons are changing on the village. It just, what the hell? Is it meant to symbolise something? Is he meant, is it meant to show that he's like, walking home? 
and he decides to randomly change weapons. Uh, and just I don't know. And of course, it takes Mega Man this long to get home because it goes through all the seasons. Yeah, like, it's walking for like a year straight. And and by winter he was still walking. Yes. Um, if somebody can tell me what this means, I'd appreciate it, but I don't think anyone really knows. But anyway, that's it. Thank you for watching the Mega Man 2 playthrough. And check out my other playthroughs if you enjoyed this. Thank you. Goodbye.